Hey, Stanley, how's the party? Uh, horrible? Awful? Why do kids always draw on me? Like, like what makes you want to draw on someone? Little jerks. <laughs> yeah, but you know who I really blame? The media. What? No, the parents. Right, the parents. Oh, honey, I got a great idea for Jason's birthday. I'll pay some hick who lives three hours away to stuff a big horse in a tiny trailer, have him drive it all the way here in 100 degree heat, and then let all the kids do whatever they want to it for the whole afternoon while we pound Trulies in the corner and talk about how scary climate change is, even though we know we're not going to do shit about it. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. Yeah, I know. It, it wasn't all bad. I could see over the fence into their neighbor's house. They had TV on. Oh my god, I love TV! Ah, it's the greatest. Humans mostly suck, but TV's fucking cool. Oh my gosh, what did you watch? Uh, they, the, the neighbor's watching a show called Friends. Oh, was it good? It was like, you know, it was like, okay. But I really like the apartment that the two women lived in. Jimmy, go get that white horse! I just got an offer for his hide! Is he talking about me? Does he mean hide as in, like, skin? Come here, dummy. Ugh, oh, I hate these guys. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, fellas. Oh, stand, stand where? Here? Hey, don't, don't touch me there. That's not, that's, hey, don't, no! What is that? No! No! Ah! No, 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 Wait, no, you leave him alone! You leave him alone! You leave him alone! What the fuck? What was that? Let's see. Stanley? Uh, yeah. Where am I? Ah, my skin, my skin! Leave my skin alone! No! Wait. Stanley? Is this a dream? B Byron? Is that you? <laughs> yeah! What do you mean, is it me? Um... Oh, no! Oh, that was real? <sighs> hey, does it look bad? Oh, uh, d no. No? No, you can, d you, I mean, you can barely notice it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, thank you, buddy. I felt like I can't really see it all, but the parts I can see are really bad. No, don't look in it. Okay. Or Amir, you're fine. Okay. You're okay. Okay. Send them in! And wait, I will see you now. Welcome, bienvenue, yokoso, shalom, and Um, hi. Hello. How was the interdimensional travel? I hope it wasn't too loud. It was actually a little loud. I'm sorry, the what? You're confused. Totally normal. Please, help yourself to some carrots. Sorry, where are we? Oh, yes, of course. So, you've been brought from your world to a different dimension, a parallel universe of sorts. We rescue horses who've been abused and exploited in your world and put them in a place where they are surrounded by their own kind so that they may live happily ever after. Oh, that's really nice. It is. It really is. I love my job. It's truly joyful. And sorry about the timing. The system still has some kinks in it. We tried to pull you over before the skinning. Oh, it's okay. It was very painful, but it's barely noticeable. Mm-hmm. Now, let's go over a little thing called... The rules of this dimension! <clears throat> In this realm, you still can die. Get sick, get hurt, and Sorry, even stop, cry. Sorry, stop, stop. I, I can't do people singing in front of me, like, in my personal space. It's my one thing. I can't do it. Huh. Okay, well, usually I sing the rules. It's quite fun, but okay. I'll just read them? I think so. Sorry. All right, we already did most of one. While you can get hurt, you heal much faster here. Rule two, you're still tied to the laws of physics. No underwater breathing for you. <laughs> that's not really... I mean, is that physics? I don't think that's physics. No, it's not physics. Rule <laughs> number three. However you looked at the time of transportation is how you appear here. Oh, man. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, worse for you. Number four, the food in this realm is amazing. Unfortunately, the water tastes exactly like piss. What? Piss is in, like, pee-pee? Yeah, so sorry about that. It's just how it is here, and that goes for anything made with water. 
Your coffees, your teas, your sodas, all taste like piss. Rule five, it's always sunny here. Amazing! Unless a horse kills himself, then it thunderstorms. Yeesh, sad. Rule number six, everyone chooses their own role. You are allowed to do anything you want here as long as doing so doesn't hurt anyone else physically or exploit them. We've all had enough of that in our previous worlds, am I right? Amen. I heard that. So do whatever is interesting to you. Be a doctor, a musician, a janitor. Who wants to be a janitor? Yeah, I mean, like, no offense to janitors, but cleaning stuff that's not yours, that freaking sucks. You'd be surprised. See, by not allowing one's role to determine their social status, rule seven, and by giving everyone the same amount of money each allowance period, rule eight, we have found that all needed roles get filled. Everyone is of equal importance. It's quite magical. Wait, why have money at all? It helps give structure, maintain order. But doesn't that inevitably lead to class struggle and inequality? Yeah, uh uh-huh. But look at the humans. Mm -hmm. Exhibit one through a million. (laughs) The humans did it wrong. We're doing it right. It's just the rules. We don't question the rules. We follow them. Okay, that sounds a little... Yeah, is it like... Super fascist That's what I was going to say. And lastly, rule nine. There is one unicorn in this world. Their name is Lorem. It's unlikely, but if you happen to run into Lorem, you are not allowed to approach or engage Lorem in any way whatsoever. Doing so could alter the fabric of this dimension. Therefore, you would be forfeiting your position here and would be sent back from whence you came. Okay, that all being said, let's figure out what you want to do. Remember, it can be anything you want. Do you have TV here? Uh, yeah, we have TV. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I love Fucking TV! Fucking amazing! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Baby, yes! Is yes! This yes! Heaven? Yes! <laughs> I love this! What type of show would you like to be on? Oh, no, no. We just like to watch TV. Yeah. We, like, barely got to watch TV where we came from. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, you could see it in the house from the barn, but if the humans closed the window, we couldn't hear shit. Okay, well, you can watch TV here, but what would you like to do? As in your role? I'm sorry, I, I feel like we're answering the same question over and over. We'd like to watch TV. <laughs> and nothing else? Well, I, I mean, we'll probably see things on TV and, like, be inspired to go off in little adventures. Sure, sure, but we don't want to be locked into anything. Mm-hmm. I think, um, I think we just want to hang out. Yes, you know? hang I, out, yes. Can, can we just play it by ear? Yes, Is that a possibility? Yes, absolutely. Go with the flow. Yeah, see what happens. Most horses choose to do something. You know, fill a role. Roles give purpose. Purpose makes us happy. Being happy helps maintain order, see? <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> okay. I don't normally do this because no one's ever chosen watch TV and hang out. Really? That's insane. Yeah, why not? Because they're not roles. That doesn't help the system. That said, I'm going to let you do it. Perfect. But only for 15 flingles. What? Huh? Sorry. Flingles are a measure of time here. One flingle is essentially two days. So you have one full blark to acclimate. (laughs) Oh, a blark is like one month. Then you have to pick a role. Anything you want. I mean, not anything. No, you can't just watch TV and hang out. That (laughs) That was a no-no, I guess. That was poo-pooed. Yeah. Uh, Did I poo-poo? No, no, I was saying she poo-pooed that idea. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Let's get you a living quarters. My team of builders, also a roll, by the way, can create any abode you'd like. Oh, our humans had a nice TV room. Can we live in a nice TV room? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, can the room look exactly like the TV room on the show Friends? Oh, nice call. You could have a full mansion, indoor, outdoor living, a home theater. That that sounds complicated. (laughs) Totally. Just a big room would be great. That looks like it's from the show Friends. Okay. I'll have my team put that together. Welcome. And good luck. I'll see you in one blark. Holy shit. Look at this place. Dude, it's just like it was in the TV show. It's amazing. Oh, Oh my God. Look how big that TV is. Oh, oh, my God, look at it. oh my God! Oh my God! Jackpot! Oh, oh, big bomb! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! It's bigger than me. <laughs> uh, shall I? Uh, yes, I believe we should watch the TV. Daddy and Byron are horses, of course they love to watch TV. They were transported to another dimension where horses live.